It has been a big week in rideshare driver news and it's only Tuesday. In this video, we're gonna focus on news that came out of California yesterday. A California judge ruled that Uber and Lyft must classify their drivers as employees. So in this video, I'm gonna give you all the details about that and stick around because at the end of the video, I will tell you whether I think Uber and Lyft drivers will ever truly be classified as employees. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And uh, flying the colors, yeah? Beautiful polo shirt. We should really start selling the merch, you know? Pretty cool. All right, so big week. Big week and it's only Tuesday. Yesterday, um, Uber announced um, nine proposals uh, so that workers, so drivers can have better uh, working conditions. Um, Dara Kay, the CEO of Uber, uh, penned an op-ed article in the New York Times. And our very own Airy the Rideshare Guy Campbell uh, interviewed Dara Kay. And you can go, uh, the link is right below this video. And you can see, there it is, uh, the interview. It lasts about 30 minutes. I watched it last night. Very, very interesting. Okay, number one, what the heck's going on? What the heck is going on? So let me put this into some perspective. Uh, in December of 2015, I started driving. I made a good, er a good living. Um, rates were good. Um, there was surge, multiplier surge. There were bonuses, fat bonuses, like $500 if you did 120 trips. Life was good. Drivers were not complaining, at least not drivers that I talked to. But then over the years, Uber started and Lyft started cutting our pay. They changed the surge. They decimated the bonuses. And these are things that happen to employees, not to independent contractors. So there is this groundswell of angry drivers saying, this isn't right. If you're gonna impact our livelihoods this way, we should be classified as employees and we should have all the benefits, benefits like unemployment, benefits like overtime, uh, paid time off, uh, things like that. So that's the background. And that's why in California, uh, we passed a law at the beginning of the year called AB5. And there are other laws in other states uh, that are either um, up for a vote or that have passed that say, basically, if you read the letter of the law, by definition, drivers are um, employees. So that's what's going on. And as you can see here, uh, Bloomberg Law. Uber and Lyft must convert drivers into employees, judge rules. So that's the news. A judge looked at the whole situation and he ruled that yes, Uber and Lyft, you must, you must classify your drivers as employees and give them all of the legal uh, protections that an employee is legally entitled to in the state of California. Okay, number two, drivers take legal action against Uber and Lyft. So uh, many drivers uh, feel they have been uh, gotten the short shrift, yes? That over the last four years, they have not paid, get, gotten paid the right amount of money given how they were treated by Uber and Lyft. So this is a big win for those of us who have gone into arbitration. Uh, let me share some uh, quote from Mark Potter. He says, in his ruling, the Honorable Judge Ethan Schulman characterized Uber and Lyft's motion as attempts to delay or avoid determination about whether they are engaged in ongoing and widespread violations of AB5, but dashed those aspirations by explicitly finding their motion groundless. So what he's saying there is that Uber and Lyft um, have been fighting against AB5, right? They put up a, a legal argument against uh, AB5, and this is what the judge has, has determined. The court slammed the arguments that Uber and Lyft are merely tech companies, variously referring to those arguments as nonsense, half-hearted, and containing glaring inconsistencies. At least the court pulled its punch a bit by referring to the arguments as risible, instead of using better known synonyms ludicrous, ridiculous, farcical, and laughable. In any event, the court held what we already knew. There is no way for Uber and Lyft to avoid the conclusion that its drivers are employees and thus, Uber and Lyft have paid their drivers less than 50% of what they were owed. This ruling can and will be 
used by drivers in arbitration to get the pay that Uber and Lyft stole from them. Okay, so um, that's actually my attorney. If you're interested in uh, having a conversation with them, click on the link below. It says damage calculator. You can put in your numbers and you can kind of get an idea of what you might be entitled to. Okay, number three. So we had a judge who ruled that that the drivers in California are employees. Well, recently, because of this unemployment situation, you know, I applied for unemployment and this was before the PUA and I applied as an employee of Lyft. So what happened? Well, uh, first I was denied because Lyft hasn't put any money into the unemployment fund. Um, so I appealed and then upon appeal, I was called. I was interviewed for about 30 minutes, asked all these questions about my relationship, what Lyft controlled, what did I control? And then in the mail, I got a document that said, you are an employee of Lyft, and therefore you're entitled to unemployment benefits. So the unemployment benefits I've been getting are not through the uh, pandemic unemployment, the special uh, created just, be just because of the pandemic, but the standard unemployment. So that's just another uh, sign that uh, anyone who looks at this evidence has to determine that drivers are in fact employees, not independent contractors. Number four, this is big news. So what you can see here is CNBC. Judge grants preliminary injunction requiring Uber and Lyft to stop classifying drivers as contractors. And then in the article, it says a California judge granted a preliminary injunction Monday requiring Uber and Lyft to stop classifying their drivers as independent contractors pending further action by the court. The order will take effect after 10 days as the companies requested a brief stay during the appeal process. Um, so that means Uber and Lyft have 10 days to appeal, which no doubt they will, because then this is going to stretch it out further. Um, the article goes on to say, if upheld, the ruling could have serious implications for Uber and Lyft, both of which are not yet profitable and have seen their ride hailing businesses suffer during the pandemic. By classifying their drivers as independent workers rather than employees, the companies have not had to pay for costly benefits that come with a full time staff. And then we see another article from CNN Business. Court orders Uber Lyft to reclassify drivers as employees in California. Okay, number five. Um, I got my hands on the actual legal document. And this is an excerpt I want to share with you from the document. I found it kind of interesting. The highlighted part right towards the end of the document says, During the pendency of this action, defendants Uber Technologies and Lyft Inc., are hereby enjoined and restrained from classifying their drivers as independent contractors in violation of Labor Code Section 2570.3. So it's pretty definitive, right? This Number six, what's next? Well, Uber and Lyft have 10 days to file an appeal. No doubt they will file an appeal. Regardless, this is one step closer to drivers in California being classified as employees. Now, a lot of drivers resist being called employees. They don't want to be employees because they feel they're going to lose their freedom and their flexibility. And the truth is, we don't know. We don't know what being an employee for Lyft means. We don't know that it means the less freedom and flexibility, right? That's that that's depends on how Lyft and Uber put the whole thing together. Um, Definitely, there would be more money as employees because we would be entitled to all the benefits. But then again, what's to stop Uber and Lyft from reducing the rates that we get paid to offset the cost of the benefits? And that that's so what? So it all comes down to it doesn't really matter that much. That's how I look at it. And this is my key takeaway here is that Uber and Lyft are going to pay drivers a certain amount of money. Right. They have a business plan. There's market pressures. There's competition from Lyft and other companies. And whether they pay us uh, a bigger amount in just pay or pay us less plus benefits because they got to force us to be they're being forced to call us employees with the benefits. I think we're still going to make about the same amount of money. I don't see why um, that's going to change. Right. They're in business. We're 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 an expense called the driver. And they're not going to, just because they have to call us employees, balloon that up. They're going to adjust, right? It just makes sense. This is my prediction. So we may be classified as employees. We may be classified as independent contractors. But the bottom line is 
we're going to go out and drive and we're going to make some money. And whether we make it in, bonus, in bonuses and, and, and pay or whether we make it in pay and some benefits, it's still money going into our accounts and it's going to be up a little bit or down a little bit like it always is. And in the end, we're going to drive, we're going to make our money. So that's my key takeaway. It'll be really curious to see what happens next and we will be sure and keep you informed, okay? Again, if you want to uh, watch Harry's interview with Dara Kay, the link's below. If you want to think about going into arbitration against Uber and Lyft for back pay, if you've been a busy driver for the last four years, the damage calculator below, highly recommend that. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. That lets more people see it so they can find out about this breaking news and uh, subscribe to our channel and set it yourself up for notifications so we can tell you whenever we do another YouTube live. All right, you'll go ahead and have a great day. Wear the mask. Be safe out there. Bye for now.